I decided to translate a community guide to environmental health totally accidentally because uh, a few years ago, maybe it was in 2008, I needed to help people to find good solutions on how to change their toilets. So I was googling the word toilets and the toilet constructions and then there was chapter from environmental guide to community uh, health popped out with lots of toilet solutions. So then I thought, what a cool book is it? And I started looking at the other chapters and the other chapters were way more cool and cooler and cooler topics came out. And then I got really interested and went to Hesperian uh, policies and read how to get this book uh, translated into Mongolian. And then it turned out it was an open copyright book and anyone can translate to any language for their communities. So that's how I first contacted Hesperian as in the first translation they gave me uh, money to pay for translation. So that's how, actually I didn't use that money for translation, I translated the book. It was so interesting, I translated the book in 20 days myself, but I used that money to edit it, to order pictures and make, make the pictures into Mongolian faces and Mongolian dresses, etc. So I used that money to make the book published very fast. Hesperian's book on community health, Community Guide to Environmental Health, is very much relevant to Mongolia even now. Because when I first translated it in 2009, uh, the big issue was a mining boom in Mongolia. So lots of uh, interesting community uh, topics related to waste and chemicals and uh, industrial waste etc were very relevant to us but now it's even more relevant because we have a huge air pollution in Mongolia, uh, soil pollution in Mongolia, water pollution and all these pollutions are getting worse and worse so we need to train more people, give people more education to make them aware of uh, the ways to get out of the polluted environment. So they want, I want people to understand uh, simple scientific ways and also uh, collaborative ways to get out of environmental damages. In Mongolia, uh, the current disastrous, catastrophic environmental challenges, air pollution and soil pollution. So these two uh, big challenges are our pressing challenges, but there will be more challenges in the future, which is desertification uh, because of the global warming and because of the climate change. And also uh, more pressing, maybe it will be also a worldwide issue, but in Mongolia we see it very, very rapidly, is like also disappearing of many vegetations and flowers, and uh, it's because of Mongolia's overgrazing problem in nomadic setting and disappearance of rivers and all those environmental challenges are going to continue, unfortunately, but people have to learn uh, how to live resiliently, uh, how to, as a community, survive and protect the environment as long as possible and maybe turn the tides back. Uh, local solutions uh, uh, uses the strategies that is kind of, uh, the strategy, strategy that the Hesperian uses when, when they write their books. Their health books, their environmental books are written in a very simple language for everybody to understand and yet gives very deep scientific data and information very systematically. Uh, we give our information to people based on scientific knowledge but using a very much uh, inclusive language. So. That kind of language, that kind of inclusive, inclusive, inclusive attitude and that kind of science-based, fact-based approach that Hesperian applies in their book is going to be very useful for our trainers and we are going to use these topics over and over. And the book is still online and I still receive letters from Mongolians that uh, they are very happy to have these resources online they, they are using it in the waste management, they are using it for the soil, soil management, etc. But now people are also using it for building toilets and uh, cleaning up the environments. 
and we are local solutions team we are constantly using the book uh, we are using this book for our national campaign on sanitation and in the coming years we are going to use the book on our trainings to empower people to reduce air pollution.